Audio Stories for All Ages presents Bee Kisses, stories with questions and answers too. Bee Kisses are timeless fables, tales, and legends that speak to children of all ages, especially the child that dwells within each of us, and also for the adult that lives there too. As you buzz like a bee from place to place, too busy to enjoy the ride. Remember, it's not where you end up that counts. It's a journey that enriches your life. You may find it hard to believe what I'm trying to say. It won't be that long till you find the escaping away. And now for our stories. Bee Kisses. A story in which we learn that telling the truth is often very brave behavior. Many, many years ago, the Sultan of ha 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 Chu woke from an afternoon nap with a terrible pain in his nose. He jumped from his royal hammock and rushed to look at himself in the mirror. The Sultan of ha 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 Chu took one little peek and shrieked, Look at my nose! It's huge and bright red! What has happened to my royal nose? The families of Achu loved the sultan because he was a thoughtful ruler. When they heard his pain-filled cries, people throughout the kingdom could hear the sultan because the palace was in a valley surrounded by high cliffs and the echoes were fantastic. When they heard the sultan crying, everyone, I mean everyone, came running. For days, the experts of every profession examined the sultan. The doctors thought it was an allergy attack. The security forces thought it was the neighborhood bully. Judges and lawyers looked for witnesses. Environmentalists were convinced that the sultan's face soap contained dangerous chemicals. Members of the royal circus encouraged the Sultan of ha ha to come to the next clown show as a celebrity walk-on. But nobody's comments satisfied the Sultan. The Sultan of ha ha was getting so desperate that he devised a rather eccentric plan. Since he could talk to all kinds of animals, he decided to do some field work and investigate the situation. The sultan began having interviews with all the animals in the royal zoo. Elephants, antelopes, tigers, a giraffe, swans, alligators, beavers, and wild boar were all questioned. Some wonderful ideas about helping endangered species emerged, but no clues about the nose. In fact, the royal pain in the nose remained a mystery, until a little girl whose father worked in the palace peeked in on the sultan. She ran up to him for a closer look and began to laugh and giggle. <laughs> What's so funny? My nose hurts. Forgive me, your majesty. I didn't mean to be impolite. Your nose hurts because you were stung by a bee. That evening, the sultan of Hachu opened his window and buzzed an urgent message to the Queen Bee. In moments, Queen Bee dove in for a perfect landing on the Sultan's shoulder. Your Majesty, she inquired, was wrong. Just look at my nose. I was stung by one of your subjects. Please send the culprit to me. Queen Bee excused herself, and soon the Sultan heard a faint buzzing. A very young bumblebee was hovering outside his open window. The little bee stared at the sultan of ha 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 especially his nose. Did you do this? The sultan demanded to know. Yes, your majesty. What were you trying to accomplish? 
Are you angry with me? The little bee, with tears in its eyes and drooping antenna, responded. I was flying past your bedroom. I peeked in and saw you sleeping. You are such a wonderful leader. You are so wise. I wanted to kiss you. I just tried to kiss you. The king was impressed with the little bee's brave honesty and knew that this was a time for forgiveness. Our story asks, when was the last time you said, I'm sorry? When you forgive someone, how do you feel? As you buzz like a bee from place to place, too busy to enjoy the ride. Remember, it's not where you end up that counts. It's a journey that enriches your life. You may find it hard to believe what I'm trying to say. It won't be that long till you find the escaping away. Bee Kisses, Stories with Questions and Answers to, has been produced by Howard Bogot and Merle Singer. Illustrations by Marissa Hecker. And we've enjoyed the music by Blake Singer. Recorded by Mike McGann, Station Manager at WJBWAM, Jupiter, Florida. You may find it hard to believe what I'm trying to say. It won't be that long till you find the escaping away.